Oop, there's a cushion. They get an angle up. Camera down to actually trigger it, okay. This cushion, was it always there? Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. A very, very uh, stab-like hole, apparently. Yep. It was made by something sharp. What did this? It's possible I'm a dumbass. It was not made by Yuma's wit. Got it. <laughs> Completely not. Yep. Uh, tutorial level. Could have been made by the thing on the top of his head, though. True. Mm -hmm. Wom. Oh, it's fading. I've come back just in time. Yes. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. I was starting to like it. My influence is working. <laughs> well, did you find anything? Yeah. I think I see the contradiction here because we're playing... We're playing Ace Attorney again. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare, I've solved this mystery! And then it's revealed that it's all a simulation! Scooby-Doo reference. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. Every party has a pooper, that's why we invited you. <laughs> so even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're going to find it by working together. Teamwork. Yeah. Uh, what when a sausage had come out wrong slightly, like Sean and I had to repair it very quickly. And it's so, like we're working on this one sausage at the same time, which is patently stupid, by the way. But like the end of it, we were like, yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. God, we're lame. Yeah, we kind of <gasps> are. Working together? Helping each other. Working together. Lay it all out, master! <laughs> Wait, it's my turn to punch you? <laughs> oh god, a barrel! I mean, kind of. Oh my god, we went down the beer hole! Well, we went down the beer hole. <laughs> And somehow we're on Destiny Islands. This is Danganronpa 2 all over again. <laughs> so how did you feel about Hangman's Gambit? Because now it's horny. Hangman's Gambit was okay. But this looks <laughs> like it's going to be a completely different, um, completely different way to actually control it. Just like every Hangman's Gambit. <laughs> yeah, just shoot your sword at her. It's totally not kinky, I swear. Considering she's currently naked in a barrel. Looks like she's got a swimsuit on. She does. This is the beach episode, Master! Feed me key, I eat. And so you spit up the keys and you eat them again. That's unhygienic. <laughs> that's, one way to get lead, that's one way to get lead poisoning. They're different keys! Besides, they're, they're made out of candy. 
So some solution keys will have absolutely nothing to do with this. Unless you have a certain skill enabled. But the keys aren't necessary for solving the puzzle. They will just give you hints. Mm -hmm. So if we can figure out what the word is, we don't need the keys at all. Got it. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious what the word is. So, Lantern, um, that Scooby joke you made earlier is apparently exactly what we needed. It was red herring. <laughs> I mean, that was not that difficult to figure out. No. Yeah. And she's got orbital... She's got eye lasers, like Okasan. Apparently. <laughs> but she used, like, a Kingdom Hearts heart beam. That's right. When I saw the furry through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he was stabbed in the blanket wrapped cushion to make him look like he'd been stabbed. This is an extra level of convoluted I didn't think we were going through. I. What? Okay, okay, let's see where this train takes us. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. The furry's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Why couldn't he just have gone with the immolation thing? I feel like you kind of gave away that something was up. Red herring. It was red herring the whole time. Fred was, was right. <laughs> if it was red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Wait, if it was actually red herring, that means Fred was right, which means this is wrong because Fred's never right. <laughs> oh and no, he has gone cross-eyed. <laughs> and he still doesn't have a catchphrase. The furry was faking his death to fool us. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked in through the bathroom window. You would have still thought he was dead because there was a fire. But the peacekeepers report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just an idiot! Exactly what I said! In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that Dead End in the Abyss could have a new path now. Or he could... And hang with me here, we could be right and he wasn't on the train at all when it landed. Mm-hmm. Let's hurry back! So hang on a second. Just a second here. Okay. Mm -hmm. If playing dead was the right answer, why would the misdirection matter? Are, are you asking why we didn't just automatically... Um, are, are you asking why we, we had to go through the suicide door? Yes. You because know? if playing dead was the right answer this whole time, then it wouldn't have mattered. We picked that door first. It would have been the right answer. We would have continued. Because you didn't have an exact reasoning. Shinigami's reasoning was because it would have been cool. That's not the but best. But why does that matter? Because 
you don't have enough evidence to have the truth yet. The labyrinth does function on la logical deductions. Okay, okay. Apparently. Objections it, it, withdrawn for now, then. If it's actually saying you have to be able to prove it rather <laughs> than have the right answer, okay. Let's see if that holds up. The, the labyrinth is just as much about the journey as the destination, I'm guessing. Yep. And it's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Carry you me. You don't walk. You float. <laughs> See? You don't walk. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. What's that? Well. <laughs> oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method thanks to my awesomeness. Uh-oh. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now's the perfect time to use it. I'm guessing Zoom or Evac. Two different Dragon Quest references. Evac takes you out of a dungeon. Zoom warps you to different locations yeah. on the map in Dragon Quest. So I guess we don't want to go out of the dungeon. We just want to teleport. Yeah, yeah. so room is in Zoom. Even the sound! Yep. See, every Japanese game is Dragon Quest. I was waiting for you guys to see that part. <laughs> they even included the old Dragon Quest 1 magic use sound. <laughs> I Thank can you, appreciate Spike that. Chunso. Thank you so much. <laughs> we had a Dragon Quest reference in Jangarampa 1, so... True. Super easy. Thank you for referencing Dragon Quest. You're welcome. But unfortunately, referencing Dragon Quest does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? He has amnesia, but he knows what MP is. <laughs> he doesn't remember who he is. Everything else is fine. Anyway, your lifespan. You know, you're being awfully cavalier with my life points. Okay, so now it's two weeks. So we've passed through how did the culprit pull off the junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Beep. I'm a robot now. Now that we have a new mystery the key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it the old college try. Yep, definitely getting an Alice Madness Returns vibe now. Oh my god. Slash it. Oh, I'm guessing the one we just got. Yeah. <laughs> Since this is a tutorial and they're trying to teach us mechanics. The furry was trying to trick us into thinking he killed himself. Oh my god, it's a oh my god. It's a light bridge. So is this worse. between the lions? Oh my god. <laughs> we See? just walked into between the lions. See, we <laughs> just wa walked into between the lions. That that show was after my time, but I was aware of its existence. See, it was uh, during my daughter's time, so I got to see plenty of it. I watched it in elementary school. It's all because we found the right clue to break through. Don't question my logic again. I'm so amazing! Get it? Because we're in a labyrinth. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Oh, she wants head pats. Mm. I am a fuzzy guy. <laughs> Maybe later. I am surprised she offered up the head for pats. <laughs> we gotta take it slow. 
Shinigami, take it slow. <laughs> yeah. We opened, we opened the play death group next to the corpse repairing solution. Cows! I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is up with the cows? Are they because the fluffy butterflies. cows? Because and we got butterflies. butterflies. I know why the butterflies are here, but the cows is because the detectives were lined up for slaughter. I hate that that makes sense. Give me a minute. I guess <laughs> the butterflies are. There's a butterfly effect going on? So the furry really faked his death and mislead us. So, if there's a butterfly effect going on, did, is there a rain cloud appearing somewhere else right about now? Maybe. Rain drops keep falling on my head. <laughs> it doesn't matter that all of the detectives are basically dead. Now we just need to prove he's the culprit. And even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world would be different, right? This is a fair point. Hmm. What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Could I be worried? Probably. for later. <laughs> and that's another ulcer for you, Ma. <laughs> the ground is falling again. You better run, Master. Why? Wasn't this the right route? Okay, so Zilch was there. He just you, he made it. He made himself look like he was stabbed, and then traded out his body for a burnt corpse. Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. I'm trying to piece this together. Mm. Master, you better concentrate! Ugh! Ow. My spine. I'm a platformer now. Um... I think yes. I don't yes. think it was. I think yes, based on what we've learned now. Because he had the whole knife and blanket thing going on. To fake his own death. When I saw the furry through the window, he was faking his death with the knife through the cushion. That was definitely the real furry. Was the burnt course him? No. Yeah, there we go. Nice. He, he faked his death with the stabbing and then put a burnt corpse there so we would confuse the two. The corpse I investigated was real, it just wasn't the furry. Because remember, we went we went looking around for a fire extinguisher before we actually got in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. In other words, furry swapped himself out for a real corpse. House. Hello. Yeah, before we got in there. Yeah. The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. This and that's how we get mousetrap. This music. Have... Are any of you familiar with that little uh, subway band, Too Many Zoos? Nuh-uh. No. 
Neep. I'm going to have to share that because one of the main songs they're known for sounds a lot like this. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. The furry used that smoke as a cover to switch himself with a dead body. wasn't only there to show he died from burning. Evidently, he made a very obvious tell that he wasn't actually dead. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right, in the smoke, he switched places with the corpse he had hid. Ah, shit. We're now in a TV. Persona, here we come. A good game. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure Persona just isn't for me, mm. which isn't a statement on the quality of the game. It's more a statement on just like what works for me and what doesn't. Yeah. I mean, Persona is just an offshoot, technically, of Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Which is like JRPG turned up to hard mode. Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? In your cleavage. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> You need to get the body as quickly as possible. Only one place makes sense. There's enough room in here. This is also a Danganronpa minigame. I'm genuinely enjoying this. Yeah. Like, like I, I, I've grown up watching detective stories, so this is... Yeah. Okay, what have I got for choices here? Okay. Is that from the cupboard? I don't think we have many options. I think there's a very obvious place it could be hidden. Oh yeah, it's, I mean, I'm thinking under the bed. <sighs> but that looks like one big hot spot. Yup. Get your leg. Mm. The bird corpse was hidden right there. Also, Starry on Tascadoo. <laughs> Oh man, I'm being glammed. Glam. <laughs> Cheats, one thing after another. This is really bad for my heart, and I have a heart condition. Oof. We're not done yet! Let's speed it up! Shinny, you might be fine because you're <laughs> floating around, but this is really tough for me. I skipped gym class, evidently. He does look like a nerd. I can't believe it. He had the corpse hidden under the blanket? So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. I don't know if I should make the joke. I'm so jealous! He did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> I said I'm jealous! Well, there go my brain meets. <laughs> Furry was lying in the bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. Took the corpse <laughs> up from under the blanket, put the knife out of the cushion, stabbed it. Then even after he switched the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? 
Must have been some place with easy access, which must mean... Under the bed, just like that portal to hell that Pooh and Tigger found. <laughs> oh, I'm not caught up with no money the Pooh war. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw that episode of Winnie the Pooh? No, I think Because whenever I bring that up, people are like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought you were talking about a fan fiction or something. No, no, this was like the Winnie the Pooh show in the 90s that was on ABC right before or after Sonic the Hedgehog. My god. Can't say I saw it either, man. <laughs> Which means, if you checked under the bed that time, you were for I did yet. Rub it in, why don't you? But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. Oh, well, that went. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. <laughs> he knew I'd panic. Maybe he's Batman Flowey Jedi Sailor Moon. Nah. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning. And that's why he let you live. Uh, I think you can walk now. No, he is clearly not the Sailor Moon. He didn't undergo the Magical Girl transformation sequence. Yeah. I'm a pretty here, damn it! <laughs> I read the okay. Yeah. I think the furry was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary. So he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom. But that didn't hinder his plan, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go into the first car? Yeah. He must have planned to make me witness... WITNESS ME! And set me up as the culprit. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now! Not that, Master. Maybe you were a big shot, big shot, big, big shot detective before you lost your memories. Somewhere, some of my friends in Oklahoma are cringing. No, if I was really a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. You're a blank slate. Give yourself some credit. I guess so. Wait, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um... You don't have an answer for that one, twerp! Ah, damn it, you summoned the juggalo. I'm not gonna let you go any further this time! <laughs> Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry out with veggies for dinner! I didn't know I was playing Sizoth right now. I would have done a different voice. <laughs> I think you would have regretted that one eventually. Yeah, just like with Kerr. Uh, I will do no such thing. You say that now. 